Artificial intelligence, or AI, is changing the world in ways we could have ever imagined it's impacting everything from how we drive our cars, making them safer and more efficient, to how doctors diagnose diseases with unprecedented accuracy. But AI needs data, lots of data instance to train these models, and that's where Rivals comes in, offering a groundbreaking solution. Now that was quite funny, right? I tried to begin this video with AI trying to clone my voice to sort of show what the power of AI can do. Now, although the voice that came out at the end of the day, I think it's quite far from what my actual voice is, especially because when I'm speaking, it's quite clear that I'm not a native English speaker. I still, however, think that this is quite a cool tool that one could use. I mean, this basically demonstrates what the power of AI is in the recent days, which brings me to today's video on what I'm going to talk about, about the Rivals AI Network. So I forgot to introduce myself. This is Deepin Inspiration Hub here, and let's get into the video. Now, in today's video we're going to explore shortly what Rivals is, its key components and how it tries to revolutionize the AI and data markets. Now the Rivals network which is built on top of dimensions using Celestia and Eigen introduces basically an AI Intel layer which would be powering modular AI applications. Now the focus here would be on data provenance or data availability to enable the largest AI data markets which would be basically essential for AI applications and AI agents. Now the core idea is to focus on the availability of this data which would be essential in creating these large AI data markets enabling a diverse ecosystem of AI agents which would make AI development basically very easy for developers out there. Now Rivals also aims to create a compliant, secure and decentralized AI data market which is one of the key things about Deepin and they do this by integrating advanced AI technologies and fostering collaborations with expertise out there to become the central player in the AI and blockchain space. Now they do have some interesting components of their ecosystem. I'm going to talk about just a few of them. So for instance, they have this Rico, which is basically a collaborative ecosystem within the Rivals network, which will bring together expertise in blockchains, game studio developers and companies out there with a focus on aspects such as game AI, integrations, AI agents, and use of decentralized storage, and so on. Now, the second aspect of their ecosystem, which I also found to be rather interesting, is this thing that they call the Rival X. And this basically is called the Simplified Personal Data Licensing. Now, this would allow users out there to license their personal data to the AI world. So what we always know in the AI industry is that a lot of data are being generated from people and most of the time the people do not even get remunerated for the data that is generated by them to be sold to the companies out there. Now in terms of the Rivals Network, they will make sure that this data is processed, cleaned and stored in secure decentralized location like these R nodes that we would also be talking about shortly, which would make this data available for AI companies who would be interested in such validated and most importantly, ethically corrected data and compliant data from credible sources. Now this is not released yet but when I read the docs this should be coming out hopefully by the end of this year. Now at the core of Rivals ecosystem is the Deepin layer. We all know Deepin is basically a decentralized physical infrastructure network. Now they have built sort of this Deepin layer as a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer node network that would use advanced encryption to secure data processing. Now this Deepin layer is extremely critical for the Rivals ecosystem because it's pivotal in transformation of raw data into structured complex client and validated data which would basically be ready for AI consumption. Now with data being one of the lifeblood of AI and the Rivals ecosystem, we're going to tackle shortly how Rivals tackles this massive inflow and outflow of data. So we all know traditional data storage methods have significant limitations. They can be centralized which makes them quite insecure and quite also expensive to maintain. And Rivals addresses these challenges using a two-layer computational network. Firstly, they have the light R clients or what they also call their R nodes where every user can basically participate by just contributing their computation power and story to the network. Now here I also uploaded a few videos out there on how you can set up one of these nodes. So if you're interested in setting up one of these our clients nodes, just check my YouTube channel. You'll find out a detailed tutorial on how to do so. So here you do not need a license to operate this. Like I said, this is basically open to anyone who want to participate. All you need is a PC or a VPS server with sufficient resources to contribute to the network. Now the second aspect of the rival ecosystem is the Z nodes and this is what the upcoming node seal is about. Now these nodes act as verification and data validation layers monitoring the inflows and outflows of data from the deep end layer. Now this would basically ensure that malicious activities from users who will be for instance operating these R nodes are tracked. Now to operate one of these nodes you would need to get a license and I'm going to provide you some info at the end of the video 
on how you can participate in this upcoming note sale which will be taking place next monday on the 29th of july 12 o'clock utc now before i get into how you can purchase these notes let's look at what the rewards would look like and also how you can set up these notes so like they say on their web page the total token supply that would be made available for users who will be operating these z notes is 25 percent of the total tokens plus an extra two percent for an airdrop and for the note sales that will be taking place they would have a total of 37,000 notes that would be available for purchase and what i also found particularly cool about this project is that the number of tokens that would be available per node is already calculated so each node is going to get 33,783 risk tokens so this is the token that would be powering the whole ecosystem now these tokens would be distributed within a two years emission schedule which would kick off once the mainnet goes live and what i found to be very interesting about this project which i haven't seen yet in any dependent projects or any node sale projects maybe it's out there but i have just not encountered it is that they basically give options for people who buy the notes so maybe if you buy the node and you decide okay i do not want to run the node your node can be bent or be liquidated and here you're going to get a portion of the fixed rewards that you should have received if you run the node but here the rewards that you're going to get would be eventually way less than those who would run the node but those who decide to hold and run the notes like they say here would get way more significant rewards and also long-term benefits now here i'm going to take you through like they said on their home page the breakdown of how this works now for instance if you decide to burn your node you would receive only 50 percent of the reserve token so if you remember what we saw at the top here each node operator would get 33,783 raised tokens so if you decide that you want to liquidate your node or burn your node you're only going to get 50 percent of these reserve tokens and this would be made available to you immediately at tge and that's what they call the band drop now the remaining 50 percent of the rewards which should have been given to you would be distributed between the ecosystem pool and those who would decide to run the node so that means that like they said if you decide to run the node you would get way more rewards than those who would bend the node immediately but like i said but here the choice is yours you can either decide to eat your cake now or you can decide to wait and eat a bigger portion of the cake that's up to you and that's basically the flexibility that they allow to you now for those who will be holding up their notes like they said you would be receiving emissions in wrist or staked tokens you would also receive 25 percent of the total resupply which would be spread over two years and also two percent of the total resupply would be given to you as the initial airdrop now for those who would go with a band node option you are not going to receive part of this airdrop you're only going to receive 50 percent of the reserve tokens that would have been allocated to you if you were to run the node in a two years plan and if you decide to basically hold and run the node you would also receive 25 percent of the reserve tokens from those who bent the node so that means that if you hold a node you're going to get way more rewards than those who would be burning or liquidating their node but like i said they give you the option to decide on which option that you want to go to now in terms of technical requirements to run the node minimum you would need is 8 gigabyte of ram 4 cpu cores 50 gigabyte of ssd and vme and 50 megabytes per second of internet speed now there's a minimum requirement but what they highly suggest i recommend is to go with the recommended option which would be basically 16 gigabyte of ram 12 cpu you cause 100 gigabyte of ssd and 100 megabytes per second of internet speed now there are several ways to run the node so like they said here what is also a bit surprising to me is that the node would only run on mac os and linux operating system so typically we see it most of the time that nodes are rather running on probably windows and linux but in this case funny enough the software itself natively would be running on mac os and linux operating system however it would be possible to run the node on windows by basically installing the linux subsystem on the windows operating system like for instance a virtual machine now what is important is that you do not need to run the node yourself you can basically delegate your license to node operators out there for instance nodeops is an integral part of the rivals ecosystem so nodeops would also be hosting the possibility for users to be able to delegate and run their nodes on our nodeops console so as always with most of the projects that i introduce on my channel i'm going to try my best to push out tutorials for you on how to set up the node so if you buy this node don't feel locked i'm going to try to come up with tutorials for you on how you can set up these notes both on a vps client maybe on the mac operating system and also for instance delegating with node ops so like i said about the node sale there are going to be 37,000 nodes that would be available starting from tier 1 to tier 5 so what is pretty good is that in this case the tiers would have a bit of a higher number so for instance for tier 1 there would be 6,000 notes that would be available for purchase at a price of 450 dollars here i do think the note sale is going to ramp up very quickly so if you want to buy one of these notes take opportunity of a sale that will take place on monday on the note ops 
lunch pad so that you can secure your slots before the rush that would come out. Now, if you want to get one of these notes, try to get this on Monday on the NodeOps console. I'm not saying this because I'm part of the NodeOps team. I'm saying this because with every purchase that you make on the NodeOps console, being it a node purchase or being it a node that you operate with them, you get notes points for every dollar that you spend. And soon these note points that are being accumulated will be converted to tokens and discount codes that you can use on the same NodeOps console. So personally, I'm accumulating as much note points that I get. Most of my dipping projects I'm buying on the NodeOps console because like I said, I'm accumulating these nodes points and secondly when you purchase the node with node ops you would get two months free node operations where you do not have to purchase any subscription for the first two months now i'm going to show you shortly how you can purchase one of these nodes on monday on our console now like i said the first sale for the rivals network is going to be on monday and this first sale is going to take off on the node ops console now we're going to have two tiers that are going to be available for the first year we're going to have 444 licenses that would be available for purchase and then for the tier two we're going to have 200 and 90 notes that are going to be available for purchase tier one is going to cost 450 dollars and tier two is going to cost 518 dollars and here i'm going to have a discount code for you that would reduce the price further down so to purchase a node on monday all you have to do is to come to the node ops console when you come into the console just click sign in a verification code will be sent to your email put in the verification code and you'll be directly brought onto the console now on the console just come to notepad and currently you see that we're going to have like i said the note sale for the rivals network is going to begin on monday and that's why you do not have the option to purchase this but on monday 12 p.m utc this option would be available for you to purchase i'm going to show you quickly how this would be done using an example for instance for the keep note sale that is currently taking place on monday when you come here just click on rivals right and this would basically open the page like we have here right it's basically going to be similar just that it's going to be rivals now they are going to have we're going to have two tiers that are going to be available so you see tier one here you're also going to see tier two here and then all you have to do if you want to purchase so my tip would be that just try to get into the tier one and see if you can get one slot there if you get it then congratulations to you if you do not manage to get it then you can also grab this on the tier two if you want to purchase the node just click on purchase and then you're going to connect to the wallet where the nft would be appended to so after you connect your wallet just select the number of nodes that you want to buy and then here like i said i'm going to have a discount code for you so just click on apply coupon and then use my discount code just called dipin and then click on apply and after that just click on close and what you can see is that a five percent discount code is immediately applied to you and then here this is my favorite part of the whole console if you want to pay just click on pay accept the terms and conditions and then click on pay and a lot of users were asking me what is going to be the blockchain that you're going to use to make the payment so we know that with most of the node sales that take place you either have to transfer your money sometimes from whatever it is to solana or you have to transfer your money your money from ethereum mainnet to arbitrum polygon and stuff like that which makes it sometimes a bit annoying now on the console you can basically pay with any blockchain that you have so you can pay with ethereum you can pay with bnb smart chain you can pay with polygon arbitrum solana and stuff like that so you're not bound to pay with a particular blockchain you can basically make the payments with any blockchain that you want to use after making the payments you would basically be brought back to the console so for instance here for example with lumos you would see the number of total nodes that you purchase now i really hope that those who would be interested in getting one of the rivals nodes would be able to grab one on monday I think it's going to be quite competitive but i still do believe that those who would want to get in would have a chance to be able to do so now very very important because i'm going to be buying some of the notes doesn't necessarily mean that you have to buy it too take some time read the rivals project if you find it interesting you can get in if you find it not to be something for you there are going to be several projects that are going to be coming up where one can participate if you do have any questions just put it in the comment section and i'll be extremely happy to help you thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one bye